so I'm back. Um, I decided to vlog today because I haven't vlogged in London in a long time. Only because I've been in Malta and my travel series has so many parts that I've been just uploading daily each part so I can get it out there in YouTube. But it's not complete yet. I'm currently only uploaded up to part 2. I still have 3 more parts to upload. So can wait for that to come, but this will definitely come after that. So yeah, um, as you can tell, I'm still in bed. My face again looks disgusting because I think my period's coming, so my face is breaking out. And I'm planning on going out today because I, I've been craving ramen like on and off. So I might go to my usual spot for Korean food which is Masigo at Angel. They have really good food because they have like individual portions so it's really good for me like they actually have individual portion for army stew and that's really rare so I love that place. I haven't been in ages, last time I think was when I was still going to classes which is like months ago. Not months, but like more than two, more than one. Yeah, anyway, so I've got that to do and then I was actually thinking I might explore London because I really want to go out and get like good recordings and good footage of London because sad to say one of the things that I wish I actually did throughout my three years is actually explore London because London has some hidden places that are so pretty and so beautiful and I'm only exploring it now and I'm literally leaving in two weeks so I really should get on that plus the weather is sunny and beautiful so I should really make use of that which I will and I'm actually still in bed because Masigo opens at noon and of course me being the lazy ass I am I'll wait till I get lunch then I'll go explore London so yeah hold the phone um I'm in a really good mood because I actually got my results, my final results out yesterday. It was actually supposed to come out today but then my university decided to surprise us with like an email saying, hey click the link, your results are out. I'm like, oh my god, this is it. This is the final moment in my university life to find out if like it's all or nothing, am I gonna graduate? Am I gonna get the grade that I've been dreaming of? Oh my god. And it was like a surreal moment when I opened the link. I was just like, oh my god, this is it, this is it, I'm so scared. And I guess I'm still getting used to being a YouTuber and vlogging because a seasoned YouTuber and a vlogger would definitely take out their camera first and be like, oh, I've got to capture my reaction. But I didn't, I was just like, a normal human being opening the link saying oh okay and then like I kind of regretted not getting the moment but then I kind of had to justify and say you know what this moment is just for me I don't need anybody else to see it I have that and I'm just like yeah but you know I'm still getting used to vlogging and everything but yeah I passed obviously because I wouldn't have been in a good mood if I didn't pass I I want to say I didn't do as well as I hoped for. Obviously, I still had like high hopes. <laughs> okay, man, that's so lame. I had like aspirations and dreams that I would do well because for my entire life, from experience, I have to say, I think I'm a average B student. And I mean, I do aim for A, but I think once in a while in a blue moon, very rarely, I will get an A but I'm always getting a B. And it's the same case for my university, I'm like, I got my overall grade for the three years was 60.16. For those of you who don't know what that means, basically I managed to maintain my class 2 upper division which is like the range 60 to 70 so yeah. And then 70 to 100 is obviously first class but I knew what I was capable of was a 2-1 and just maintaining that itself was going to be a struggle for me because I knew that I could definitely easily get into a 2-2 which is lower than a 2-1, it's a class 2 lower division so it's from 50 to 60 around there and I was like 
my aunt always tells me like oh wait oh like at least maintain a 2-1 don't go lower than 2-1 because you know 2-2 two -two is like not that great and I agreed but I was so stressed out because I was like as the years went by I was just like oh my god am I gonna be able to maintain realistically speaking what I could actually get was either a really low 2-1 which is still a 2-1 and it's great or a very high chance of getting a high 2-2 two -two. and I'm like I mean I did well if I got that I'll be grateful but it'll be even better if I got 2-1 and I made it by 0.16 points and I'm just like, I'm so thankful. I never thought I would be a uni graduate and now I've reached this stage where I am and I'm graduating with a mathematics degree. I put in three years of my life into this degree and I finally reached a point where I can say hard work paid off. I have this piece of paper which says I'm a graduate and like I'm just waiting for my ceremony now so I have to actually it's like all happening so fast it's like at first it was so slow because three years went by I mean it went fast but then it's like when you actually start studying it's like oh my god this is going so slow am I ever gonna graduate and then when I get my final results it's like oh shit um I'm graduating in two weeks I have to pack up everything in my life that I've had for three years here. I'm leaving London in two weeks guys and I'm officially going back to Singapore and I don't know how to feel about it. It's like, what's next Amanda? So as you can tell, I can't stop smiling. Literally, I was high yesterday when I got the results. I was just like, oh my god, I drank. I finally opened my only bottle of cider. I was just like, you know what? this is the time to open it. I think this is the best occasion. I drank it and I felt great and I'm just, I'm so relieved. I'm just, I don't know, I've, I'm no words. I'm honestly just so happy and this is like a genuine smile. I, my smile is always really horrible when I have to force it or like, okay, we're going to take a photo, smile, but this is like, oh. So, okay, I've been talking for too long and I have to get up and go for lunch and I should go explore London since I'm in a good mood. I'll see if like my parents are home or my grandmother is home because I call them way too often but I don't give a shit so I'm gonna call them and like enjoy my time with them because I'm just I'm, I'm so happy guys you don't understand. Okay I should go. I guess I'll catch you guys later in the day and when I eat food and I go walk around London in the nice sun. Bye guys! So I'm ready to go. I'm kind of behind schedule because the Korean restaurant Masigo opened about 45 minutes ago and I should have left but it took me so long to get ready. I'm wearing a short stungri and I do know I have a freaking camel toe and I just pointed it out. That's fucking embarrassing but I'm gonna rock it because it took me so many years to find one that actually fit me. This is from the kids section obviously and I'm just a tank top inside my sports bra and I have my solo traveler set up, the one I use at Malta and that's because I'm gonna go explore London like Dora the Explorer and it's that time of year I'm so happy that my metal strap for my watch can come out. I've been wearing my leather strap because in winter if I wear the metal strap it's too cold for my hand. But it's finally summer so I can take it out. I took so long because I had to put my face on because when I woke up this morning I found like so many volcanoes on my face. As I mentioned, I'm breaking out because my period is coming. So I had to cover that disgusting stuff up with makeup. Which I have on right now. So 
I'm gonna go for food and then go explore the canals and Angel in Islington, so stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know what else to say, I haven't vlogged in quite a while, so I'll catch you guys later, bye! this quick I'm somewhere at Hoxton I've walked the canal for quite a while and I'm just I think I have to walk back but it's about 15 to 20 minute walk and it's just really sunny weather and yeah this this is the view around me spare boats There's a bird. I'm not sure if you can see it. There it is. It's just enjoying the water at this point. Is it gonna come up? Oh my god, it didn't come up. Oh, there it is. So guys, I just realised I think there's like a family living over there that's why it's so protective because just now pigeons came up and it's like, oh there it is. So there's a family over there I think which is why the bird just now got so protective when a few pigeons went over there. So guys, I think I'm gonna head back and start packing up my place because I need to do that because I'm done exploring, I'm done being Dora, so yep, catch you when I get back home. Bye guys! Hey guys, 
I just got home. I know my hair looks a mess, but it's, I'm too hot to care. But I actually bought some stuff as I mentioned earlier and I went to shops like H&M, Accessorize, Typo, Paper Chase, Flying Tiger as well because I got stuff from Flying Tiger. But two of those stores, I think H&M, Paper Chase, I went twice because I went before I went to explore Regions Canal and then on the way back home I went in again but there wasn't anything to entice me to actually feel like I had to get it so I was good today. Shopaholic me did not come out that much for a bit. Yeah, but I'll show you what I got. So basically from Flying Tiger, everything I got was about £10. I bought 5 storage boxes obviously to store stuff and they're kind of small because they're like palm size as you can see, palm size. And then I bought these playing cards. They're gold playing cards and apparently they're water resistant. I'm really into different playing cards even though I don't play poker or anything. I play solitaire but that's kind of like a solo game because I'm always alone. Anyway, um, I'm really into the design so I have a unicorn one obviously and then a transparent one and like standard US design one and I now have a gold one so add it to my collection. And then to fit the summer theme, I bought these two handheld fans. So this one is like a press, like a button hand fan. It's not like press once, it's like an actual like hand fan where it's like this. So you can keep pressing it and then there will be wind. There is actually wind, like you can see. But it's kind of tiring to keep pressing it, but you know, it's, well, it was one pound, you get what you pay for, so it's good for like, if you get warm for a while. Then this other one, so this one is a crank one, so it's really good because there's actually a lot of wind. I'm not sure you can see, but there is actually wind coming out, but it's really noisy, so... But it's really effective, so I can sit here and watch my show and just do this the whole time. Okay. And this is also one pound, so it's really good. And I can use it when I go to Brighton. Yes, I'm going to Brighton on Monday with my friends. We finally, finally, finally booked it and I'm leaving in three weeks. So I have to go before then, obviously. So I can at least say by after Monday, I have been to Brighton once in my life. So um, I think that's going to be it today, guys, because I'm tired and I want to watch my documentaries. Yes. I actually do. I'm in the mood to watch documentaries since like two days ago. It comes and goes. Anyway, I hope I get this vlog edited but it will only be out after my Malta travel series. All my Malta travel series parts should be out by the time this comes out. So go check that out because I'm actually really proud of my first travel series even though it's not my best obviously because it's my first one. But I'm planning so much more trips in the next few months that I hope to improve on my travel vlogging so you get to look forward to that if you keep watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button guys. Give me comments and suggestions and feedback on whatever you want. I really appreciate the support even though I know I don't have many supporters now but who cares whoever actually watches me thank you so much because it really boosts my confidence and yeah thank you so much I really am grateful for you taking the time to watch my vlogs and actually taking an interest in my life because not many people want to anyway um thanks for watching hope you liked it and i guess i'll see you in the next vlog which should be the brighton trip so look forward to that guys bye